Okay, well, we're glad to be here at opening day again. Opening day is always a great day. Um, gets rid of the winter blues and back fishing. That's great to see. Um, what can we expect this year? Well, we can never predict what's going to happen in salmon fishing, but if we can go by uh, the last few years, then we might have some reason to be hopeful about the spring fishing. Uh, because the last number of years we have been seeing the spring fish fishing improving on the Tay, although last year was a little bit down on, on the recent trend. Uh, but what we can say about last year was that the average weight of fish caught in the early part of the spring, say up to the end of March, was the biggest, highest for quite a number of decades. Um, indeed, the, the average weight was 12.8 pounds from our records. And you've really got to go back to the 1950s before it was consistently higher than that. And you might say, well, what's going on? Well, the real reason for this is that we seem to be seeing something of a resurgence of three sea winter fish. Um, and you go back 15 years ago, most of the fish that were caught here at this time of year tended to be fish sort of around eight, nine pounds with the occasional bigger one. And these were mainly two sea winter fish. Whereas what we've seen in recent years is more fish in the teens, some in the high teens of pounds and, and some fish over 20. These are fish that have spent three years at sea. These are the sort of fish that the tay in the past used to be renowned for. So one good thing is to say we are seeing some bigger fish here. Um, and so if you catch a fish uh, in the early part of the day season now, it's likely to be a cracker. Um, but the downside of that has been in the latter part of the season. In the autumn, in the last few years, we've been seeing less fresh fish. Um, and indeed, last year, there weren't many fresh fish at all uh, in the latter part of the season. And that was true not just here, but really throughout Scotland and rivers that expect to have a big back end, back end run. Um, why? Well, partly we can see the same sort of phenomenon going back, say, in the 1950s. There was a time when most Scottish rivers were dominated by spring fish and there were poor autumn runs. And is it the case that we're going back into the same sort of cycle? That's what people have been asking. Perhaps we are, um, or perhaps we're going to be seeing something which is going to be slightly different. Um, the two things that are common between the present time and back then were, is that sea temperatures in the North Atlantic um, were relatively high both then and now um, and would seem to be still increasing. And it may be that fish that used to come back as grills are staying at sea longer uh, to find feeding or to travel further north and therefore assuming they do survive to get back, they're coming back as, as older, older and bigger fish. Um, it's not actually that fish are growing faster, it's just that they're staying at sea longer in, in order to uh, attain a, a weight for spawning. And that may be part of the reason that we're seeing these trends at the moment. So the overall picture, as I say, we can't predict what's going to happen in 2018, but based on what happened last year, um, if it does transpire that we don't have a good grills run, uh, then we are asking anglers um, really to go easy and only take the occasional fish later in the season. But as I say, the upside is that if you come fishing here in the spring particularly, and if you do get a fish, then if last year is anything to go by, uh, the chances are it might be a, a, a really good one. And as I say, the Tay was always famed for producing big springers. and. Uh, so if you want to catch a good fish, this is the place to come.